Welcome back to Celebrity Fish and Fire. We're continuing to fish in Louisiana. We're on Lake Pontchartrain. I'm teamed up with Mike Mowdy. Fish on's with Mike Zordich. This is my time. I felt it. I had local star Mike Mowdy with me. We're feeding off each other's enthusiasm. I really think it's my time. Be sure to watch what happens. You're not going to believe what happens. The guys are headed out to the final fishing spot for their competition. Then we decided it was time to go, go out and fish Lake Pontchartrain and get it under the bridges and try to get some numbers. Sean has moved these guys to a place where the fish have a chance to be even bigger and there are more species to catch. The thing I love most about fishing here is, is you can bring a six and a half foot spinning rod with a 3,000 or 4,000 series reel and you can go out and you can catch every species. It's just a magical place to come fishing and I would advise anybody if they're in this area to come and try it. Z over there, he's, <laughs> he's checked out. Oh, yes, sir. There you go. Going? Yes, oh, indeed. I'm not happy about nope. it either. I miss that rod bender. We got a rod bender, baby. Oh, boy. Is that a trout? A trout. Oh, oh yeah, yeah beauty. <laughs> <laughs> That's the trout we're talking about. <laughs> See a little trout. Oh, Sean was catching. <laughs> <laughs> this thing's nice, man. Ten of these bad boys. We'll be having some trout po boys tonight. <laughs> <laughs> After his teammate reeled in that great trout, Antonio decided to do his part too. Antonio and Maudi are making a comeback, and Sean is not too happy about that. He's a beauty. You gonna net him or what? No, I don't want it. Give me the net. <laughs> <laughs> this gets you to within one. Just a matter of time. And after that fish, the floodgates opened up and the competition caught fire. Atta boy Z. We need our two-point lead back. Don't horse him too hard. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> we needed it. From big fish, ten, nine. Big You're gonna count that to little fish. Cool. One. To fish that are lucky go, to beauty. be alive. Perfect to fish on. Looks like he's had a shark or something onto his tail. So we'll call this a fish with nine lives. We'll let him live to see another day here. These guys are catching everything. <laughs> oh, beauty. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> that's nice. the trout nice we're looking fish, for. Man. Just so we have it for the record. Oh no, that's a tying fish. I was getting anxious. There we go, a couple nice little sheephead. Oh, nice flounder, beauty. Nice. Oh. There we go. Fishing with Z was great. He got our only flounder of the day. We like those. They're tasty. He was a great partner to have. He was a great net man. He showed up for me when I had to fish on unlike their partners. I had to run over for them every fish, but... Z may have pulled in the only flounder of the day, but this competition is still anybody's game, as the teams are neck and neck heading into the fourth quarter. Yeah, right, get that thing in there. She tried around in droves today. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, the flounder. These guys are just tying us up here every time we get back in the lead. It's a fish. You know it. That's a good one. You know it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh boys, I love it. Oh yeah. Getting the net. And it's been some feel like I'm in the fourth quarter of a football game. The like coach just put me in and sit on the bank the whole game. And then I got him. And he got him. And that's a good one. Oh boy. 21-21 right now. Uh, we really, really got to buckle yeah, down here as Ian come through with this win. I can't stand and listen to Smash on the plane. So we had like a fourth quarter. Hail Mary, down one fish actually. Then me and Antonio come back with two fish in a row. Oh, no. oh yeah. yeah! Yeah! That's how we do it. And she's in the boat. I got one shrimp left. I have one more shrimp left. Oh, you do? 25, 24. It looks like we're all down to our last shrimp here, folks. Man. We had them up Thought seven to one it. at one point here. And they came storming back. Sean and Z are down by one point with only one shrimp left right. between the two of them. That means that if Mike Mowdy and Smash can reel in just one more fish, Antonio will get his first ever win in Fish and Fire history. And that's it. That's the game, folks. That's the game. And that's the game, folks. Woo! I deserve this. I don't even want a net for this one. I just want to flip him right to the boat. Yeah. I love to see it. Flip him in. Man! <laughs> that's how I roll, folks. Fish and fire first, right here. We had them early in the day. They we just uh, turned on hard here. Yeah, let them live another day. I just want to let you know you sealed the deal. And because of that, you're free. Oh man, today was a great day. I mean, I, <laughs> I can't stop laughing because I'm so happy that I finally won a competition against this guy right here. I'm getting emotional here.
but it's okay. I'm gonna give Antonio his props here. It's it's everyone needs to eat a, eat a piece of humble pie once in a while. So <laughs> I'll take mine for today. But I'll tell you next episode, it's not gonna happen. I'm again. baking a lot of humble pie. <laughs> Congrats, Smash. Hey, well, thank you. Thanks, thanks. Good day on the water. I <laughs> and uh, that's a wrap here, guys. The fishing competition is done, and now it's time for these football studs to square off in the kitchen. Today's dish is Louisiana style fish and chips. We've got some really cool local beers, uh, but we picked up some cool hot sauces on here. They like to turn up the heat a bit. I hope you can handle the heat. <laughs> I'm hoping they don't use too much heat. <laughs> well, let's call them in. We'll step out of the way and let them go at it. We have uh, some red fish that we caught earlier. We have tartar sauce, baked beans, alfalfa sprouts for presentation, lemon wedges, coleslaw, flour mixture, different varieties of seasonings, hot sauces and of course your lager to use as a base for your batter. And have fun with it. May the best man win. You guys ready to go? Absolutely. All right, let's fire up the stove. Fire them up. We'll fire them up. Cheers. Cheers, okay. The cooking competition was, was unbelievable. Here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna start with my, uh, with my batter here. Making the batter was a little tricky because I'm not a big fryer, but uh, I, I grabbed the Commotion APA and th threw that in there. Just thought that that might work. It all starts with a batter. So you cook often, Mike? I've cooked once or twice. I'm no, I'm no Antonio over here. I'm just when you're making a batter, you're talking about frying a redfish, a trout. I mean, you can fry anything really. I almost fried the baked beans just to like put a feather in my cap, but I didn't do it. I didn't want to show off. So what you I didn't did do it because it can't be done. Because I got a little secret. I got a little something for you. I like a little bit, a little action. I mean, I got even a little bit of. What are you we're talking about here? That's a little secret. Don't tell him. I don't know what this is. Going. <laughs> it's going good. Nope, not right yet. Not right yet. Competition for me with those two guys wasn't about the food. It was about watching them interact with each other. <laughs> well, it's getting there, though. I'll tell you this little runny over It's there. getting there. Now, you know. I'll tell you this. I'm going to get a little bit of that there. A little bit of there. None of that. Can you, hand me the, can you hand me the flour, please? Yeah, here. Just having Antonio around while we were cooking really helped, and I enjoyed that a lot. A trick I could teach you. Just to check and know if your oil is ready. Put a little ball in there. You can see that that floats right away. I'm, I'm, I'm very interested in, you know, cooking and, you know, recipes and ingredients, and t to hear him speak on things and be able to ask him some questions here and there. And it was fun to have a professional opinion around. Your batter looks really good there, to be honest. Wait, did you, I didn't hear you. Could you say that again? So that looks you? absolutely perfect. Oh, that's, don't say that's I thought Having Antonio there was definitely a game changer. The scope of his knowledge, not just a particular area. Really, it's all And we're in. Oh. Check on here. Oh, wow, Flip my, we got a golden brown, crispy. It's gonna be salty. It's gonna, it really, I'm thinking it's gonna cross all five of the flavor spectrums. <laughs> It's gonna be something special. She's ready, she's ready. Get her out of there, here we go. These NFL athletes fried up their fish and then moved on to their potatoes. And Mike Mowdy showed that he has a few tricks up his sleeve. I got one more. Have you ever you, seen this before? I have never <laughs> seen this before, Mike, and I gotta tell you something, I'm excited to eat it. The potatoes were crossing the line. If you do only what's expected of you, then you're just average, you know? Being average is being as close to the yard as the bottom as you are to the top. That's it, that's how I see it. So you gotta go above and beyond to call of duty. I have nothing to say to that analogy. Hey, you, it might backfire. I'm gonna be know honest, know. you know, I'm, he's my competition, but I'm even excited. <laughs> there you go. I think the most important thing when you're talking about preparing a dish, Presentation. 100% agree with you, Mike. And that's why I'm not too worried because I consider myself more of an artiste in the kitchen than a cook, you know? They're right into it. And, uh, they're chirping each other. I like it. You look like you've been painting. Well, I have been painting because this is my canvas. This is my canvas. It kind of reminds me of you and me on the boat, actually. <laughs> <laughs> what is the most important thing about cooking for people? It's getting the order in and out. As you see, I am done. <laughs> <laughs> and you are still <laughs> coloring over there. Yep. Now that Maudi is done coloring, it's time for Sean and Antonio to pick the winning dish. They both went beyond my expectations. They both made unbelievable fish. Um, the presentation on both of them were good. Perfectly salted. I taste a lot of the beer in that, uh, that batter, that's for sure. Maudi's dish, here we go. Wow, Maudi kind of add a little more seasoning and his batter seemed to, to stick to the fish a little bit better. I'm gonna go first here because I like to let guys down easy and I like you to be the heartbreaker, so I'm gonna have to go with Maudi on this dish. His fish was just cooked perfect, didn't fall apart of your fork. 
Eat those battered potatoes. We were laughing at him as he did it, but but that won the dish for him for sure. When it came to presentation, both of them, I mean, it was a toss-up. They both looked really equally well. Um, but in terms of taste, I gotta say, Mike from Audi's Fish tasted a lot better, in my opinion. With those battered potatoes, I don't know how he came up with those that. But they were good, they so were that's what did it for me. Antonio did say that my batter had more of the beer taste, which was what we were going for, a beer battered fish. I think that you won simply because nobody ever had a fried, fried potato before. Well, you got your participation ribbon, I got my victory ribbon. They gave you a ribbon? That was Thank you very much. Good job. Appreciate it. Glad good you guys job. enjoyed it. Absolutely good. My lasting thoughts on this trip were honestly just one hell of an experience. I mean, even though I lost a couple of battles along the way, it was just fun to get out on the water and experience a new place and learn from two professionals, both in the kitchen and on the water. We really got a little taste of everything, and that was what's most important, especially Mike's first time out here. And it was a beautiful day, and it really just made for a, a, a wonderful fishing experience. Wow, just wow, that's all I gotta say about that. Finally, I took Fish on to Gagne down in a fishing competition. It took a while, and I've been fishing with Fish on for years, and I've never beaten him. But I gotta thank my, uh, my partner, Mike Mowdy, for coming through. We had a great time in the water. Zordich, by the way, there is no ribbons that were given out, okay? That was fake. Um, but we had a blast. I'm just, I mean, I should get a medal, I should get something, I should get a trophy at least. Or maybe a belt should be made that says champion, smash, you know what I mean? Me and Maybe me and uh, Mike can be tag team champions. But uh, it was a blast. Make sure, guys, if you like what you saw, if you like this episode, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Be sure to watch. All the fishing tips will be dropping. Fish On's going to be dropping some, um, some fishing tips. Myself going to be dropping some cooking tips. If you have any comments that you want to leave below, drop a comment. I'll be sure to answer you right away, whether it's a recipe or about Lake Pontchartrain, or about Louisiana, Fish On will be happy to guide you in the right direction. Till then, Fish On, smash, we're out, back to the water.